Hi everyone, Intuitive Edge here. I want to uh, turn this video on as I was just tapping in and tuning into some August energies. And I'm going to do this kind of free flow, kind of in my uh, semi-meditative state energies that I'm picking up for August. So uh, bear with me, I want to record this as I'm, as this is coming in. The first thing I was picking up on was a cry for help. A country is going to be asking another country for help, aid, or support. Uh, it could be asking a NATO country or an ally country. It feels like this country is being uh, attacked and they are requesting world support and world aid. There is also something about a claim that a school has been hit or a school has been targeted, targeted, and this may or may not be true. It could be part of a ruse to garner sympathy in order to gain support. I do sense world leaders being on alert or on edge, that intelligence is going to play a role either meetings, high up meetings, intelligence gathering and meetings on different levels. Um, this will spark world attention. And there could be something happening on multiple fronts. Perhaps when this, whatever this issue is, is going on, there could be other issues trying to be instigated perhaps something with taiwan while the world is distracted uh something could be happening there um i'm also sensing something in the philippines that is underway at this time there i feel evacuations it could be related to they just had a large earthquake there. I don't know if that's what this is related to, but I feel evacuations are underway. And there's something about going far inland, so I don't know if they do ha have a tsunami or if this is just something else, but the Philippines are coming up too. I do feel Iran is going to be in the news. I feel that there's, I hear the word provoke, and there is some provoking going on or being accused of provoking. There are some, there are some things happening under, under this, under the scenes, underneath, behind the scenes is what I'm trying to say. Um, and everything might not all be exactly as showing up in the news, but a lot of it will be. And again, I'm getting this cry for help. Okay, I'm back in my office. Uh, outside, long enough, braving the 106 degree weather. We were having warm enough outside. I'm back indoors. Uh... I'm also getting the image of people clicking their seat belts. I don't know if this is involving and uh, like an airplane incident. I'm seeing people clicking their seat belts. Perhaps they're being told we're getting some turbulence. Uh, everybody buckle up. Um. Okay. Mm. A subscriber of mine mentioned something about a another someone else who has predicted that there may be uh, an attempt on Donald Trump and perhaps having to do with his plane. Um, I don't know if this is that that I'm picking up on or if I'm picking up on something else. Uh, hopefully that's not going to be the case. I know a lot of, there are other psychics I've heard as well um, that are talking about another attempt on Trump's life. 
that's been talked about. So this is Angel. Um, again, I'm I'm drawing I'm drawing back into this uh, clicking seat belts on an airplane. So there could be something to do with a with a plane coming up. And I do see there could be some issue with an airliner. Uh, it gives people time to respond. So it's not like, not like a bomb or something. It feels like people have enough time to put on their seatbelts. So I don't know what this, it, what it is that I'm picking up. If it's different than what other people are saying about possibly having to do with Trump. Again, I don't know that for sure based on what I'm picking up. I'm hearing something about angelic intervention. It's funny, my cat just came in. Her name is Angel. I'm feeling like there's, there's, people are going to be calling something a miracle. Something's a miracle again. Th this is going to be so obvious. It, there's something, okay, I'm, I'm tuning, I think I am tapping into something with Trump. And I don't know if it's the plane thing. I don't know. But I'm feeling like there could be another attempt on Mr. T. I don't think this is going to work. Again, it feels like there's some type of I'm hearing I'm hearing miracle an angelic intervention. I'm just I'm feeling I, I like I I hear beat he beat the odds. He beat the odds. Again, let me I don't know if this is related to Trump. I think it is. Something big will post on X. I hear, I feel uh, X, formerly Twitter, is going to be, going to be in the news. Something, either something big is going to come out on X. And this is really going to put them in the crosshairs. It's going to piss a lot of people off. Something something huge is going to drop on X. I think it has something to do with Elon posting something important. It's going to get a lot of people's attention and maybe not all for good reason. I think it's going to draw a lot of negative attention as well as positive attention. Like a lot of eyes on, but a lot of people pissed off. Look for X to be in the news. I'm hearing go for broke. I think Elon is like, I don't care. This is coming out. This is, I'm, I'm going to post this. I'm going to go for broke. I don't care. Or somebody is saying that. Maybe not Elon, but somebody is saying that. I hear go for broke. And we're like, we're going to come out with this. There. Oh, there, there's a huge, I'm, I'm getting like a sick feeling in the pit of my stomach. There's a huge conspiracy that is going to be like the veil, like it's like peeling off a band of a wound, like a bandage. You're peeling something off and you're seeing what's festering underneath. There is something that the lid is coming off. There is something the lid is coming off. It's like being exposed, being opened up scrutiny eyes on it feels like it's coming from different fronts like it's not just elon it's not just somebody on x it's like there are this is going to open up a can of worms like a pandora's box and it's going to come from all different angles it's not just one thing on x it's going to be like oh really oh that opens up this over here oh really that opens up this over here that's how I see it. It's like it's going to be like a domino effect, pulling in different aspects of different angles of the same thing, but it's going to open up a huge, huge Pandora's box. 
And look for this to come very soon. I would say in the next two to four weeks. Today's August 2nd, by the way. Two to four weeks, it's gonna, something's gonna blow the lid off of something. And it almost feels like it's, it's separate from this other war-like country that's asking for help. It's gonna, it's gonna, everything's connected, but they're, they're separate issues, but they're all connected. I don't know how to explain that. Um, let's see what else I get. I'm hearing 35 for a penny. I don't know what that means. It could be a reference to maybe some inflation or something like a run on something. Maybe issues with banks or something. Uh, something about penny stocks. I, well, I don't know what I'm getting here, guys. Bear with me. Um, I, there, there could be some issues with stocks in general, but opportunities. If something tanks, there's an opportunity, but it also could mean that there's issues and maybe people lose money in the stock market or some issue there. Again, I'm drawn back up into that airplane when people are being told to put their seatbelts on. There could be a hard landing. A hard landing. Uh, let me see, where is this? Um, I'm getting... I don't know, is this Kansas? I don't know where this is. Oklahoma? I'm getting kind of central United States, maybe. And again, I could pull in two different, some like I did with July, I, was, I felt like I was pulling in two different things. Um, I could be pulling in two different, two different things. I, I'm feeling like there's a hard, hard landing. And there's a miracle, a miracle of some kind with a hard landing. Like, ooh, maybe somebody beat the odds. And that's a good thing. I'm hearing the world's going to change. The world is going to change. There's going to be some contract. Ooh. I just, I just saw a world leader ripping up a document. I don't know if that's a, a, an agreement that is no longer tenable for that country or that leader. I'm seeing somebody aggressively ripping up an agreement. Now that could be literal, literal, or that could be symbolic. But somebody is tearing up an agreement they're done they're 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 not a, they're not going to maintain friendship or connection with I'll, i i keep hearing new alliances are being formed new alliances are being formed i hear strategic oil reserves there could be some negotiations there I have, Saudi Arabia is negotiating oil for something. I'm not sure what, but they're negotiating. Uh, there could be some sort of negotiating oil for peace. I don't know what that means. Oil for peace. God, oh man. There, there's there's stuff is coming in fast and furious to me. I'm feeling like 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 the United States is gonna be a little embarrassed on the world stage, like like we haven't already been enough already. But there's more. There's something that's gonna be kind of embarrassing coming up. I don't 
don't know what this, I don't know if it, it may have to do with agreements, rearranging agreements, but it's going to, something's going to backfire on the United States, on the current administration. It's going to be embarrassing. And it feels like Trump, Donald Trump's going to be all over it, posting a lot about that agreement that gets messed up somehow something got messed up and then maybe that's the tearing up I saw of that to me it felt like um like an imam or or I don't know guys I I was seeing somebody over in the Middle East tearing that up that's what I'm feeling it I wonder if it's about um Palestinians agreement ripping it up shredding it um I'm seeing a lot of unrest Gaza a lot of burning, looting, um, just a lot of unrest there in that area of the world. There's a lot of energy, just stuff that I'm picking up on, just kind of random stuff. But when I get in the zone, I wanted to just hit roll on the, on the camera here and let you guys kind of Tune into what I'm tuning into. Again, I hear strategic oil reserves. Something is going to be put in play. There's a friendly gesture. Oil for peace. Oil for peace. Oil for peace. We'll give you oil. You stop what you're doing. Peace. Peace. This could, this actually could work. It's, it feels like a good thing. I don't get a bad feeling with it. It just feels like not everybody wants to play that game or be, or feel like, it almost feels like, God, I don't know, sanctioned or something like you're, like somebody doesn't want to do that, but they kind of feel like their arms being twisted to give up something, but they need the oil. Okay. Something up in Alaska, I'm being drawn up into Alaska. This could be actually into September. I don't know if they have an earthquake up there or if there's something being revealed. They could have some sort of land deformation up in Alaska that could be making the news. Could be the result of an earthquake, maybe, or landslide or something, volcano, but I don't know. But it's, look for something kind of, kind of big in the news in Alaska. It's kind of up, <clears throat> I don't know Alaska real well, but... <clears throat> Let me grab my globe. Because what I'm picturing, get over here. Okay. So um, I would put it around, what is that? I don't, I, maybe North of Anchorage, kind of up in the middle of Alaska. It's kind of what I'm like. There's like a, a inlet of water and I'm feeling like a land deformation or some type of issue with water and land. Um, like a, like a permafrost or something that is liquefying. I don't know how to describe that. Could just be an earthquake or something causing issues. could send could send people and animals kind of fleeing the area I'm pulled back over to Taiwan and the Philippines again there's issues there problems Again, I feel like there's like China might take advantage of 
turmoil and everybody's attention being focused elsewhere on this other thing going on in the Middle East to perhaps cause issues with Taiwan or problems there. There's also something about fires in Australia. There could be some massive wildfires that break out. And I know that we're in their winter time, so. But I'm just seeing that. And then maybe that's, you know, maybe that could be out into the future a little ways, but I'm seeing some problems there. Uh, I think it, I'm hearing like a little bit of a drought in some areas in Australia. Okay. I'm being drawn all over the map. I'm hearing issues in the Baltic Sea. But then I'm being drawn over to like the English Channel. So two different bodies of water, like something happening within a short period of time from each other, the same, like something happens here in the Baltic Sea, something happens there. Oh gosh, this could really cause disruptions. Um, I'm seeing issues with people wanting to travel, especially international travel. There's like a huge crackdown, like customs, border agents. And I, I don't know if this is the United States. I think it's it's internationally all over. I think there's like this huge crackdown of travel and a lot of restricted travel. People could be asked to mask up again. There could be issues with ventilations on airplanes. God, I don't know what I'm seeing here, guys. And again, back to the seat belts on the airplane. Okay, let me see if I can tune in and just kind of wrap this up. Is there anything important that is coming that... Uh, we need to know about. I'm just hearing like the political divide. There's going to be a lot of division. Like we don't have that already, but it's kind of going to be more pronounced. Um, and then I'm seeing like a gold skeleton key kind of being lost in all of this. Like something needs to unlock and something's trying to bury that key that will unlock everything. I think that's all symbolic. There, There is a lot of energy coming out on something important though. Uh, especially look, look to X. X is gonna be, talk about X being in the crosshairs. X marks the spot, going to be huge in the next two to four weeks. X, something, something's going to drop there that's going to have the world on its tail spinning. Okay. And somebody doesn't care. Somebody wants the truth out and they don't care. And boy, is that going to make people mad. It's going to piss off the wrong people, of course. I mean... People that don't want the transparency are going to be mad about it. Okay. All right. I'm going to pull my energy back in and seal that off. There was a lot there to digest. Um, again, nothing is set in stone. Things There are energies around things, but nothing is set in stone. We can... We can mute, transmute energy, we can move energy, transform energy, so, and we can absolutely transform something that was meant for bad to be turned around for good. So pray for the Gaza area, pray for the Middle East, pray for um, Donald Trump, 
because I do think he's in the crosshairs as well. Pray for Elon Musk. Pray that the truth wins out. It doesn't really matter the personality, okay? That, to me, it's like, pray for the truth, and then you'll be on the right side of history. Pray for the truth to come out, no matter who's telling it. No matter who's telling it, pray the truth comes out. All right, guys, it's going to get interesting. And as I saw on the airplane, we might all need to symbolically buckle up. All right, guys, talk to you later. Bye for now.